Hi there. As we close off the year in our classes with Seesaw, we want to take a look at how you can really make an impact with students and parents and maybe consider sending home a digital um, snapshot or portfolio or a paper portfolio even that they can save to their computer, to their students' files, so that even after uh, years later when they're no longer logging into Seesaw, they have a record of their year. It is so easy to do. We're going to look at how to do that. So here we are in uh, the front page journal. We're in the class journal, as you can see from the uh, left hand side here. So we're going to start by clicking on a student. So we're just going to pick the top student on the list. And then you'll notice as soon as we pick the student's name, we get this little button over here that pops up that says print PDF. And so we're going to click on that. And of course, the more items that you have, the longer this will take. But typically, it is pretty amazing what we can do with one single click here. All right, so now you'll see that we have this button that pops up, view and print PDF. It's right in the middle of your screen, you can't miss it. So when I click on that, it's going to open in a new tab, right beside the Seesaw tab that I have open. And now we can take a look at what this PDF looks like. So here it is, it's going to populate, it's gonna essentially have one page for every item in your Seesaw portfolio. So if you had 127 items, there'd be 127 pages. And we'll look at how to maybe minimize that as well. So when we go through here, here's the front page of our post. And you'll notice that this has a QR code. So each one of these items has a QR code. And when you scan the QR code, if we go back to this particular post, let's just pop over here, we can see that this one um, down here actually has seven attachments. And so when you would um, scan the QR code for this particular item, when it opens on your phone, you're able going to be able to scan um, through each of those. There's a little arrow on the side, just like in Seesaw, you go through. If there's a video, you press play, and right from your phone, you can press one of the seven videos that's within this file. So it takes everything that's in Seesaw, um, prints it into a page view, and then you can just go through that. So you, all of a sudden you have a paper scrapbook where you can see everything. could also send that to parents as a digital file and then they could save that in their files digitally so they no longer have to be logged into Seesaw. So this is just an incredible way to um, give parents their work. Now, if you have a lot of work, uh, another thing you might want to do so that you don't have to send home a 100-page item is to create some folders. So if we come over here and we click on the student, we notice that they don't have any folders. And so what you might want to choose to do, if you come down here, you click manage folders, maybe we create a new folder called uh, portfolio or the best of the best. We're at Irvin, so we'll make that yellow. And then we save that. And now if I wanted to uh, come to this item, close that off. Now, any item that we have um, before we print, we could put it into that folder. So after the fact, I can come here, I can say, oh, let's put this one in this folder. So you could go through even after you've done the work and you can, um, I didn't want to create, I want to save it there. Now you'll notice that there's a little yellow tag over here that says portfolio. So if you didn't want to print, 97 or 67 items you could go through. You could pick the 10 best things from uh, the individual student or from the course or the academy and put those into a portfolio. And just um, then in this um, view, the portfolio view, I could then just print those items. So an incredible way 
here we see that we're just in Addison's portfolio. So when I print this document now, if I print PDF, it's only going to have the items marked with portfolio. For an academy like the Hockey Academy, a great way to use this would be to create a folder that is skills and drills. And then any of these posts that uh, the coaches are making that outline skills and drills, you could put those into a folder. So maybe you have 10 items at the end and then you, again, you click on a student and then you choose print. And then when you print that particular student's work for that folder, um, all of those items would print and then the students would have a paper handout of drills that they could uh, access really easily at home. Again, they would just scan that QR code uh, at the bottom of each page and it would have their coach telling them what to do in the drill or talking them through an item or they could even just then um, page through the different stages of their workout. So that would be another really um, effective way to use Seesaw and the print view. So some really incredible ways that you can uh, take the work that you've done in Seesaw and either send that home as a really wow print feature for your students or uh, send it digitally. I hope this helps you uh, really finish off your Seesaw with a bang this year.